Right, we're good. Okay, again. Good morning, good morning. Kompleto ba tayo? Kompleto may absent ba sa inyo? Wala. Wala po. Okay. All right, so last time, uh, pinag-usapan natin yung ano na, uh, yung uses of computer. Right? So, it, it's also used sa uh, sa business. Right? Okay, I'm just going there. Slides. Okay, four. Alright, so computer as business management tool. So computers are widely used in businesses. Okay? So by automating uh, automating time consuming tasks that human performs. Yung mga paulit-ulit na ginagawa ng tao. So ginagamit natin ang computer as business tools. So uh is na nga rito ang paggamit ng robotics. So yan yung last time natin na pag-usapan. Uh, since 1988 pa, ginagamit ng robotics ano? sa pag-manufacture ng cars, bottles, metals, plastics, and many more. At sabi ko nga rin, ang goal ng robotics is to design machines that can help and assist humans. Okay? To assist humans, not to replace humans. Yes, Ate Cha? Hey, I go. Okay, go na agad. Sige. Yung mag-go out, sige, go, go ahead na. Para sabay-sabay na rin. Okay, so I explained to you the, uh, kung ano-ano ba yung naging ano, no? advantages and disadvantages ng integration of robotics sa business. So first, is increase in prof profitability. Ano yung sumunod dito? Did you write it down ng last Wednesday? Ako, wala. Wala itong nagsulat. Ano? So sana nagsusulat kayo since Uh, meron meron akong ilang mga tinuturo sa inyo that is not included in your uh, module. Okay? Meron kasi sa module na kulang, meron sa module naman na, na, na naradagdag. Alright? So, the, the first advantage is the increased profitability. Because integrating robotics will improve profitability by reducing resources when completing tasks. So, robotics will increase your process efficiency And of course, create perfect work quality each time. The second advantage is quality labor. Yeah, so integrating robotics into your current line process will increase accuracy and consistency throughout the entire work process. So each product or material will be given the same amount of detail and precision. By choosing automation, companies no longer need to work about six day, uh, six days unexpected emergencies or poor work quality di ba there are some times may mga, em may mga empleyado they are depressed they are sad or uh, for some reasons eh siyempre if you have these feelings if you're, uh, may, kung meron ka sadness sometimes yung work natin nadadamay di ba so pag nadamay ngayon nandun ngayon papasok ang poor work quality. And because of and because of robotics, maiiwasan na no, maiiwasan na yung yung poor work quality na to kasi robotics ang gagawa. Ang robotics kasi from the very beginning ng kada ng pagtatrabaho hanggang sa kahuli-hulihan nan, yung yung quality ng labor pare-parehas lang. No, hindi mababago 'yon. Right? So, longer working hours. Yan. So, since siyempre, ang mga robotics, so, uh, kaya na lang magtrabaho na mas mabilis. Okay? So, industrial robots work at a faster speed without the need to take breaks. Ano? So, hindi na kailangan mag-break time. Wala silang lunch time kasi hindi naman sa nag-break, hindi sa nag-lunch. Hindi sila nag-merienda. Okay? So, longer working hours. So, it's, it's an increased safety. Safety is one of the most important advantages when integrating robotics. So, keeping your environment and workers safe is very crucial sa lahat ng mga business owners and, of course, the plant managers. So, the, yung mga dangerous and harmful tasks pwede nang i-assign sa, robo, sa mga robots. Diba? So, siyempre, kung naka-assign na sa robots, 
companies will also be able to save money from uh, from injuries and at the workplace and resulting uh, resulting to lawsuits. So yeah, so increased safety. So another another advantage is job creation. So sa job creation naman na nadistract ako sa message na mail. Hindi nakita ako message, sorry. Okay, so although robotics can perform more efficiently than human labor, hindi naman ito nag-eliminate ng jobs. Ano? Hindi ito hindi tinatanggalan ng trabaho ang tao. Uh, robots do not take jobs away from humans. But instead, uh, robots provide more job opportunities. Kasi without humans, industrial robots are just simple machines. Hindi naman magag hindi naman makakapagtrabaho ang robots without the help of humans. Ang ibig sabihin, hindi naman sila magfo-function kung hindi naman sila pagagalawin din ng tao. If there are no commands from humans, if there are no commands from people, hindi rin sila magakapag makakagawa. So kailangan par ng tao. All right? So disadvantages. So uh, review nanto ah, review lang kasi last time last or last, last Wednesday na discuss natin to no. So the first disadvantage of robotic integration is what is about capital cost. Kasi talagang pagka naglagay ka ng robotics, if you put robotics on your business or to your business, napakamahal. At first glance, the initial capital investment may discourage many business owners from robotic integration. Okay? Kasi mahal talaga yan. It is important to understand what this investment means to your company. Long term dapat. Ang long term dapat ang iniisip. Pagdating sa, uh, ano, sa capital cost. So, it is recommended that uh, a businessman uh, must seek the investment needed and calculate the expected ROI or return of income before attempting to integrate robotics. Okay, uh, may nawala. Sino nawala? Si Agu po. Si Agu, ah, nalawabat si, si Agu. Si Agu po. Okay. Nag-send na po ako ng links kanya. Okay, sige. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so the next the next disadvantage of robotic integration is it needs expertise. Huh? So deploying your industrial robot takes training and expertise from an automation uh, from an automation company. So kailangan expert to rin yung gagamit ng robots. So seeking the right automation team with certified professionals is crucial when integrating robots. So, of course, companies. Uh, we also need time, time to train their existing employees to perform and interact their new robotic systems. The third and last disadvantage of robotic integration, limitations of robots. Robots can have their own limitations as well. Although industrial robots remain an attractive alternative over human labor, there are still tasks that robots cannot perform. So robots depend upon their surrounding systems such as vision systems, grippers, conveyors. You know, pagka yung task ay complex na masyado, hindi, na naga, hindi kaya ng mga robotics yan. So dapat tao na yung gagawa niyan. Pag mga complex tasks, tao na. Pag mga simple tasks, robots. Right, so that's our, uh, those are the advantages and disadvantages of robotic integration. So, papasok ngayon tayo sa another use of um, computers. So, ginagamit din ng computers sa information and communication. So, kayo, students, fourth graders, sino-sino naman sa inyo ang nakagamit na ng cellular phone or tablets? Cell phones. Si Miel, nagtaas ng kamay. Isa, Steph, Maxine, Agu, and our, of course, Ate Cha. So, yun, ano, lahat kayo nakagamit na ng cellphones or tablets, di ba? 
So ngayon kasi, uh, nowadays, napaka-essential na ng gadgets sa buhay ng tao. So, uh, just think about it. With just a size of a notebook, di ba? Kasi laki ng notebook lang ang, ano eh, ang tablets, di ba? Very handy. So we can have almost everything that we needed uh, with just our tablet. If you want to buy something, salamat Shopee. Ding, ding, ding! Di ba? Kapag ka gusto mong kumain, Jollibee Delivery. Di ba? So if, if you want to search for your assignment, just uh, just look for the browser and start surfing. Yeah. If you want to talk to someone, use your mobile phone. Napakaraming gamit. Diba? Napakaraming purposes ang isang maliit lang na gadget. Diba? So cellular phones or cell phones, uh, they have Uh, they have been valuable for people who need to stay in touch while on the move. Mga cellular telephone systems combine the technology of radio and television with computer system. So with the use of a transmitter, so yun, ano? uh, with the use of, uh, ayun na, so pinagsama raw yung technology ng radio and television with computer. So equivalent daw siya sa cellular phone or cellular um, telephones. Yeah. Cellular telephones. So with the use of the transmitter, yeah, so the, this is transmitter, yung mga towers na nakikita natin sa mga paligid natin. So users like us, ako, ikaw, tayo, we, uh, we can communicate with other users. Even if he moves from one location to another even if you are move if you are even if you are on a moving vehicle or on a train kahit hinahabol ka pa ng zombies <laughs> na pasigit ang zombies so kahit nasaan ka pa di ba kayang-kaya kang matawagan kayang-kaya kang makausap kahit ano pang ginagawa mo even if you're traveling right pasok pa rin sa information and communication ang tinatawag na broadcasting Right? Broadcasting is not possible kung walang tulong ng modern computers. As you can see, this a broadcasting studio. Punong-puno siya ng computers. Right? So, the recorded video and audio, yan, so, ito yung processing niya, no? Kung paano pinaproseso siya. So, yung the recorded video and audio from the video cam, or from the studio or sa nasa field will be translated by the computer. And then, the computer will send the translated data to the tower. Right? So, gets nyo ah? Yung na-record ng video cam, it will be transferred to the computers. The computer will translate the, the recorded videos. Okay? And then, the translated data it will now be transferred or will be sent to the tower, yung transmitter. And then, yung tower na to, it will transmit the data to the different locations captured by individual antenna directly to their televisions. So, ganyan yung process ng broadcasting. Right? Camera, action, camera, and then to call your computer. Right? From computers to, to the tower. Then tower, papunta kayo sa inyong mga televisions. So, ganyan ang broadcasting. Naiintindihan ba? Uh, understood? Okay, so that's the use of computer. Pagdating sa, uh, pagdating sa information and communication. Right, so going to the next. Computers used as control system. A control system is a set of device or devices that manages and commands the behavior of different device or system. So ito, they are being used to implement control systems in flood prevention, in air, in air conditioning, and broadcasting. Kulang ng D, and broadcasting. So in your module, 
Nag-print ba kayo ng module or nasa Google Classroom lang? Nagsasang bilik na ako. Alright. Okay. So, uh, I encourage you to print your ano your modules para meron kayong handouts. Right? Sa so, para meron kayong uh, what's this? Hard copy na pwede nyo basa-basahin. Even if you're not online, may mababasa kayo. Kasi nga, in your module, the example is air traffic controller. Ayan. So, yan yung, ano, yung naitsura ng air traffic controller. Makikita nyo yan sa mga airports. Okay? Yung air traffic controller na yan. So, ang dami, di ba? Mga nakapalimot, nakapaikot, puro computers lahat yan. Right? So, it... Uh, Air traffic controller uses radar. It uses computer, radio to track air traffic. Okay, to track air traffic. Pag sinabi air traffic, lahat ng mga nasa ere, mga lumilipad. So it give instructions for take off and landings of aircrafts. So it is responsible for the safe orderly and expeditious flow of air traffic. So, kung dito sa, sa lupa, merong mga traffic lights, di ba? Sa air traffic naman, meron tayong air traffic controller. So, sila yung mga traffic lights ng, ano, ng, mga, ng mga aircrafts. Alright? Okay na ba ang control system? Apo. Okay na sample, ha? Another use of computer is in textile mills. Okay, uh, ano pag ano bang pumapasok sa isip niyo when we say textile mills or textile? Ano sa tingin niyo mga ginagawa nila? Paper. Uh, not, not really paper, no. Uh, ago, do you have any idea? When you say textile, what what comes in your mind? Wala ito. So, kung saan yung textile, ito yung fabrics. Okay? Fabrics. Ano na yun? Ah, kitsa-kitsa pala. There's something na yun. Parang may pinupukpok sa ano sa location mo. Alright. So, sa textile mills, we use, uh, we could see busy large machines. Ayan. Malalaking machines. Malalaking textile mills. So these machines are responsible for processing fiber. Processing fiber into fabric. Ito, yung mga suot natin, fabric yan. Yung mga suot natin yan, made of fabric. So sa ganitong industry, limited lang ang staffs nila. So limited lang yung tao dyan. Ang meron na dyan, managers, inspectors, technicians. So, yun lang. Sila-sila lang. And then, computers na ang nag -e execute ang trabaho. Yung nag -we weave at spinning para makagawa ng fabric, computers na yun. Yung machines na yun. Right? So, computers na yung nagagawa para sa kanila. And these machines are very accurate and very fast. Sayang lang, ano, uh, I tried to search last night about yung mga, mga mabibilis na ano ng mga textile mills. Sana, papakita ko sana sa inyo eh. Uh, but, yun nga, mostly ay nasa China. Yung mga fastest textile mills. And they are being, op uh, they are computer operated. Alright. Okay, proceed tayo sa next. Uh, computers in engineering, architecture, advertising, and design. Yan ano? So, computers also aid, ano? Uh, it also aid in the architectural and electrical designs. Pag-design ng houses, buildings, machineries, uh, for printing and publishing, advertisements, video game, animations, and special effects in movie production. So, dyan ginagamit din ng computers. So, kita nyo rin ang nasa left. What can you say about the left, uh, picture in the left? So, isa siyang engineer, no? Gumagawa siya ng design. How about sa right? What you say about this right, uh, picture on the right? Minecraft. Minecraft. So, it's a video game, di ba? 
So dinag sa pagdi-design ng video game, we also use uh, yung mga programmers gumagamit din sila ng computer. All right? So they design uh, the programmers uses com uh, the programmers uses computer to design video games. They design animations, advertisements. Computers ang gum ang ginagamit nila para makapag-design yan. So through computers, engineers can create ano? So through computer engineers can also create visual computer graphic models. So alam ba mga engineer, mga architects gusto nila ipakita yung ano yung mo, yung house model nila to ginagamit nila yung computer. So naipapakita nila sa kanilang client kung paano yung magiging itsura ng kanilang bahay. So ayan ano. So 3D model siya. So yung yung client mo ngayon uh, he will now have the idea kung ano magiging itsura ng kanyang future house through the help of computer. I just don't know no sa inyo pala medyo nagii-stop si yung video. But here sa akin ano medyo maganda-ganda naman yung ano yung graphics niya. So sa mga movies Ano na mga napanood yung movies? Ano mga movies na napanood niyo? Yes? All of us are dead. All of us are dead. So gumagamit siya ng ano ng mga effects ano? Yung All of us are dead. Sa mga ano man sa mga gayon to, uh, what can you see sa screen niyo sa akin? Avengers. Marvel. Diba? Marvel, diba? So Marvel movies. <coughs> Spider-Man. Ano pa? Shang-Chi. Ano pa? Ano pa rin? Ano pa rin? Mga gumagamit ng special effects. How about Eternals? Have you seen Eternals? Okay. So, Superman. The Flash. Wonder Woman. Yan. Napakalaki ang naibibigay ng tulong ng computers. Ano? So, without uh, without the aid of computers, boring panuorin ang mga movies na yan. Ano? Panigurado. Boring yan. Pati nga sa mga animations ay kagaya ng ano ba, Incredibles. Have you seen Incredibles? Or have you heard about it? Encanto. Ah, diba? We don't talk about Bruno. <laughs> ah. Frozen. Diba? Frozen movie. Boss Baby. Many more. So computers din. Ano? Computers din ang nagbibigay buhay sa mga movies na yan. So computers are responsible in the making of those movies. Yeah, so ganyan kagaling ang computers. Asli marami tayong matapos ano. So next natin, so okay yan ha. So sana sana na sana na sana iingan niyo kayo no na matuto pa mag-computer. Kasi ang dami nagagawa. Ang dami nagagawa ng computers, ano? So pwedeng makagawa ng ganyang klase ng mga movies. Ah, uh, pwede kayong makapagawa ng mga effects ng mga animations. Just imagine ano, ay sila Captain America, nasa studio lang sila. Yung kanilang background color green. Pero pagdating sa mga movies natin napapanood, para sila nasa ibang dimension na. 'Di ba? So meron ng mga thunder effects, mga lighting effects, 'di ba? Pero sa sa actual wala naman pala talaga. Right? So uh, sa next natin, another use of computer ay ginagamit ito sa record keeping equipment. Kayo ba, uh, fourth graders, have you seen an actual library? Nakakita na kayo ng library? Actual, actual library. Have you seen one? Not yet. Nakakita na po. Nakakita na. So, ano makikita sa loob ng library? Books. Books, ba? Diba? So actually library, uh, pwede siyang building, the whole building or just a room containing collections of books. Meron din collection of periodicals. And sometimes meron mga libraries na merong films, recorded music for people to read, borrow or refer to. Mga pwede nating mahiram na books, pwedeng mahiram na mga films, periodicals. Of course, dahil hiram siya, ibabalik din natin. Right, so since 
yung libraries kasi, uh, they keep their records of their collections in a wooden cabinet. So, ganyan itsura na. So, lahat ng mga collections nila of your books, naka-record yan. As you can see, there are a lot of drawers. Ba? May mga drawers dyan. So, those drawers contain cards. So, those, uh, those drawers contain cards that listed bibliographical information. And the more books you have in the library, the more card catalogs ang makikita nyo. So, the more, the merrier. The merrier. <laughs> so, yan ano. So, ganyan karami ang, ang mga card catalogs ng library. Kung marami silang books, mas marami din catalogs or card catalogs. So, today, uh, these card catalogs have largely been replaced. Hindi na gumagamit ang mga libraries ng, ng ganyang uh, wooden cabinet. Okay? So, thanks to computer, uh, thanks to computer terminals, they have accessed the library's online catalog. So, lahat ng information na nasa catalog na yan, na-input na, no, ipinasok na sa computers. So, naging, nagkaroon na tayo ng library's online catalog. Hindi na siya physical card. So, online catalog na siya. So, ito tawag na online uh, online public access catalog or OPAC. Okay? Again, OPAC or online public access catalog. OPAC is an online database of materials held by a library or group of libraries. Online catalogs have largely replaced the analog card catalogs previously used in libraries. So, yung usual na yung dati na card, na card cabinet na yan, wala na. Hindi nyo na makikita yun sa mga libraries na ngayon. So, you, you can only see yung librarian or kung sino man ang personnel na nasa loob ng library, he, he now uses computer. So, ang ginagamit niya ay OPAC para ma-access ang uh, mga information or bibliogra uh, bibliographical information ng mga libro. Okay? So, record-keeping equipment. Computers ay ginagamit din sa money, banking, and finance. Right? Sige, yung go-go out. Ah, Nakapag-go-out na pala. Wala na pala sa kanina pa. Eh, sorry, no? So, sometimes di ko hagi nababasa yung inyong mga messages sa chat box. <coughs> Alright, so money, banking, and finance. So computers are used in transferring funds between branches ano, in, in, computer, uh, in computing bank charges and in preparing bank statements and for accounting and fund transactions. Have you been in a bank? Nakapunta na ba kayo ng banko? Yes, di ba? Uh -huh. So sa loob ng banko may mga tellers. So sila yung mga personal sa loob ng banko. They are also using computers sa mga transactions nila. So, sa mga computing bank charges, they use, uh, they use computer. Sa mga bank preparing bank statements, they use computer. Sa accounting and fund transactions, they also use computer. Sa banking din, the uh, computers are also used for 24 hours money withdrawal and deposit. At yun ay ang ATMs. So, through, through automated dollar machine, a client can now withdraw and deposit money anytime they want. So, computer din yan. Yung mga ATMs, they are also considered computer. Okay, nowadays, nowadays, ano, uh, most people no longer carry cash. Hindi na tayo gumagamit ng cash, ano, nor do cash transactions. Instead, they are carrying a debit or credit card. So, sino dito yung mga parents, may mga parents na gumagamit ng ano, mayroon mga cards, credit cards, ayun, sinag-ago, diba? So, sometimes, instead of money, bumibili sa groceries yan, bumibili sa mga supermarkets, they only use their cards. Hindi na sila nagbabayad ng money. Diba? Instead, they just carry, uh, they just carry their debit or credit cards. At ngayon nga, diba, ngayon, 
we can also use apps. Mga cellphone apps like Paymaya and Gcash. Gcash. Uh, so, nagagamit natin yan for cashless transactions. Di ba? Okay, and lastly, uh, uh, this can Naiintindihan pa pala muna before we continue sa last part natin. Money, banking, and finance. So, nagagamit natin ng computer sa sa pera. Di ba? Nagagamit natin through Gcash, Paymaya for cashless, cashless trans transactions. What are you doing, Maxine? So, pwede rin, pwede rin sa mga ano, uh, cashless transactions sa mga supermarkets, sa mga restaurants, or kahit naman sa ang part na nag-a-accept na, 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 na ng credit cards. Okay? So, pwede rin sa ang ATM machines, kaya natin mag-withdraw and deposit anytime we want. Right? Tapos sa mga tellers, yung mga bank personnel, gumagamit sila ng computers para sa kanilang mga bank transactions. Yan. At yun nga, ang computers ay hindi rin mawawala sa bahay. Right? Diba sa bahay, we have, we have our computers. Not just literally personal computers, ano, but most appliances are. So, we have microwave oven. Ito. Microwave oven kasi digital na rin eh. So, uh, ano yan, uh, it also, uh, it's already considered as computer. Sabi ito rin, uh, meron na digital coffee maker. Diba? Meron ding automatic na ano, sorry. Uh, meron ding automatic washing machine, diba? Have you seen automatic washing machine? Android refrigerators. Uh, lately, ano, nakakita ko sa, mga, sa YouTube, ano, pinapakita Android refrigerators where you can use Facebook or even watch YouTube uh, gamit, ang ref, gamit yung screen ng refrigerator. Imagine, ano, nasa ref, ang laki ng screen niya. Ang laki ng screen sa ref. Pag kinatok mo, makikita mo yung laman sa loob. Pag kinatok mo uli, mag, magbablock na siya. Tapos, you can use that screen para makapag-Facebook, para makapanood sa YouTube. So, ganun na, high-tech na masyado, no? Yung ating mga refrigerators. Uh, meron din tayong mga tanawag na DVD players, CD players. So, you know, so they are computers at home. Yan. So, those are the uses of computers. You can see computers in hospitals, di ba? Gamit sa medicine. Uh, computers as business management tool. Ginagamit ng computers sa uh, information and communication, like broadcasting, video conference. Eh, ito, ginagamit natin ngayon. Video conference ang tawag dito sa ating online class. So, we use computer in communication. Ginagamit din ng computer sa control systems. Gaya na sa pagkocontrol sa ano, air traffic. Diba? Air traffic control. Okay? Tapos, ginagamit din natin ng computer sa textile mills. Ginagamit natin ng computer sa engineering, architecture, advertising, and design. Sa paggagawa ng mga special effects. Sa, pag, sa pagbubuo ng mga movies. Gaya ng Encanto. We don't talk about Bruno, no, no, no. <laughs> Ayan. Even sa pagre-recording nga, eh, magre-recording ng kanta, computers rin ang ginagamit. Eh. So, we also use computers in record keeping. Yung sample nga natin kanina is OPAC, right? Yung OPAC or Online Public Access Catalog. Yun ang tawag nga OPAC. So, computers ay ginagamit din sa money, banking, and finance. So, yung kanina nga, yung sample ko kanina, yung mga tellers or bank, uh, bank personnel gumagamit ng computers para sa kanilang bank transactions. Ginagamit din sa, ano, sa ATM machine, uh, aut automatic teller machines, aut or automated, automated teller machines. So, ginagamit din sa mga cashless transactions gaya ng mga Paymaya, and Gcash. And lastly, computers used at home. Ano ang mga considered computers at home sa inyo? Sige nga. 
Bukod sa laptop and computers, ano-anong mga mahasabi nyo na ano? considered computer? Sige, game. Anong ano? Sino ba nawala pala kanina? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Chacha po. Ah, si Chacha. Okay, si Chacha nawala. Kanina, example ko ay microwave oven. May microwave oven kayo sa bahay? Yes, no? Yes. So, yun, may microwave oven. Considered computer yan. Okay? Uh, yung medyo high-tech na nga rin, yung digital coffee maker, ano? Tapos, meron din pala mga bahay. Uh, they are, yung kanilang, ano, yung kanilang environment, pati yung mga lighting system. Ano sila, computer-operated na rin. Diba, uh, using your RC, may mga remote control sila. If they want, uh, if they want their, if their room to be dimmed, kung sila maging madilim, you're just going to use the remote control. Tapos yung remote control na yun, it, uh, it has access to the computer. Yung computer naman ngayon, ang may control sa kanilang, uh, sa kanilang room, sa lighting system ng room. Have you watched, uh, uh, nasa mga movies yun eh. Kaya nung kay, ano, kay The Rock, kay Dwayne Johnson. Nasa, ano, na, nasa isa sang condo unit. Nasa condominium siya. Uh, yung kanyang buong condo, uh, it's RC operated or remote controlled. So, isang pindot lang niya, magbabago yung buong paligid niya. Magbabago yung kanyang, magkakaroon ng disco lights or something. Depende sa mood, ano? Depende sa mood niya. So, yun. Okay. Uh, is there any question?